What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I've got something a little bit different for you. Obviously, this video won't apply to absolutely everyone, but to those this does apply to, hopefully this will give you some answers, as I'm currently looking for some. So before I attempt to fix this issue, I'll first of all show you what it is, and then show you my method of attempting to fix it, and hopefully by the end of the video, I'll have a complete tutorial if you're struggling from the same thing. So to begin, currently on this Troubleshoot channel of mine, I'm busy setting up the membership section over here, and as you can see, I'm about 67 or 75% of the way through. I just made a small change to this membership offer. From what I've seen, you are able to link a Discord server and a YouTube channel as seen with this over here. YouTube channel memberships integration FAQ. For streamers or YouTubers, simply open up your server settings, head across to the integrations tab, and you should have a YouTube option. And then for viewers at the very bottom, it shows you how to link your account so you can get some perks. But if we have a look at the screenshot over here, You'll notice integrations, webhooks, channels, Twitch, YouTube. If I were to go and head across to my Discord, for example, and once I'm on my server over here, I'll simply head across to server settings, integrations, and we'll have a look here. As you can see, obviously missing are the Twitch and YouTube options to integrate them with my accounts. As you can see up at the very top, as well as Twitch and YouTube settings for creators. Of course, I don't have those here. If we click learn more, it simply takes us across to this server integrations page, where again, they show this option. Scrolling down past webhooks, we get to Twitch and YouTube. We have both Twitch and YouTube channel membership integration, FAQ, which is the one that I showed you just a second ago. And that's about all the info that we get on it. Why exactly are these buttons missing? Well, if we head across to another tab, we get to this page over here, YouTube gaming integration. Scrolling down just a little bit, We'll see, choose your starter type. Before you begin your journey, you'll have to set up permissions. Got to sync them all. To get started, head over to user settings, connections, YouTube. Once you're connected, you'll have the ability to sync your YouTube gaming sponsors with Discord in server settings integration. Once you're connected. I, of course, have connected my Discord account and my YouTube account long before I got memberships activated or even memberships was a thing on YouTube as I created this Discord server a hot minute ago. If I click on my user settings, then head across to connections, you'll see that at the very bottom, I have my troubleshoot channel over here. This is the channel with YouTube memberships enabled. I'm currently in the process of setting them up and I do hope that I can get this working before I go live with that edit the subscriptions and everything after it's finally completely set up as I'd like to have everything prepared before people start paying. So from here, I'll simply remove this troubleshoot channel and disconnect it as such. Now that it's disconnected, what exactly happens? Well, let's have a look at these survey settings once again. Integrations, there's no YouTube option. Let's go ahead and try to connect and we'll add a YouTube connection. From here, we'll be taken to 2Auth. I'll pick my email address and then pick my troubleshoot YouTube channel. After doing that, I'll click allow and we'll see this, connected your YouTube account to Discord. From here, we can close out of this tab and head back to Discord. Scrolling down to the very bottom, you should notice your channel has been added to this list. Troubleshoot, display on profile, yes. There's still no YouTube option. I'll go ahead and try and remove every YouTube channel that I currently have connected. Let's go ahead and try that. Checking our server settings, we now see YouTube sync your channel members to roles and create an exclusive experience. I'm pretty sure that this option should have been here had I just simply re-added the channel with memberships activated. I'll simply click connect YouTube. This is again on our server and not our user settings. Clicking on my email, selecting my YouTube account, which is troubleshoot. I'll then be asked if I want to allow it. I'll click yes and I will head back to Discord. That option is suddenly missing. Well, it's added back to my connections page over here, so I can only assume that this only works once memberships is completely enabled on my YouTube channel and I'm not able to plan ahead of time. A little bit annoying, but I'll go ahead and test this now. Of course, this video will have a jump in time, probably of about 24 to 48 hours, when this membership office eventually gets completed and I release my announcement video. So I'll probably see you in a couple of seconds. All right, so a couple of days has passed. It's now the 15th and I have memberships enabled. As you can see, visiting the memberships tab, I have all of this here. Cool, so now that we've done this, let's go ahead and check my Discord server. Heading up to the server settings, integrations, you can see that there isn't a YouTube option here. Let's go ahead and remove my channel from my connections once again. After doing this, disconnecting, we'll go ahead and go to server settings, integrations, and try and connect our YouTube once again. So now that we've done that, we see this here now. Integrations, YouTube, zero connected accounts, and a manage button. Clicking manage, we see this over here. Link your YouTube account to automatically sync your YouTube channel members to roles in the server. 
Create an exclusive experience just for your channel members. YouTube integrations are only available for partnered YouTube accounts. So I'll click enable next to my YouTube here. Then we see this here. We can expand or contract this channel over here if we have multiple channels in the integration section for the server. Synced role, YouTube member. As you can see, if we click that, we get taken across to the YouTube member tab. We have YouTube member followed by the first supporter tier, which for me is basic supporter, two supporter, three supporter plus, and four ultimate supporter. I would assume that everyone who's a supporter gets this YouTube member role, and then they get one of these extra roles depending on who they are currently. I'll be changing these just to something like this. Basic Supporter, Supporter, Supporter Plus, and Ultimate Supporter. All of these names match the names that are available over here under the Channel Monetization section. Basic Supporter, Supporter, Supporter Plus, and Ultimate Supporter. I'll go ahead and also add some colors so that we can tell the difference between these. This way we have Basic Supporter, Supporter, Supporter Plus, and Ultimate Supporter, all ranging up in these different shades of orange to yellow. But of course, you can have them however you want. Then the YouTube member role, I assume, is given to everyone who's a member, so I'll leave this as is. As you can see, they don't have any special permissions. They have the same permissions as the everyone role down here, as far as I know. If you'd like to reorganize these, of course you can. And as you can see, this role is managed by an integration, YouTube Troubleshoot. It cannot be manually assigned to members. You can remove the integration to remove this role. So we're not able to remove this at all. And if we click here, view server as role, this is what the server looks like with the specific role. So let's head back to the integrations, manage for YouTube and expand it. Clicking sync, you can now see that we have one member. It took a couple of minutes to sync who's already there, but by doing that, it simply refreshes who are members. We can also set what to happen when someone loses their role. We can set it to remove or kick, and of course set a grace period. I'll leave everything as is. Something that's a little bit confusing is that this lovely person who supported me over here hasn't got their YouTube account linked with their Discord account, so they don't count here. This one member is in fact me. Clicking on my role up here, you can see I have the YouTube member role. And the person who's donated to me hasn't actually got a role yet, as they don't have the correct account linked to their Discord. How exactly would they go ahead and link it? Well, simply heading across to user settings, then connections, we can go ahead and click YouTube. Then scrolling down to the bottom, you'll see something like this, YouTube display on profile, which you can turn on or off, it doesn't really matter, and then sub enabled servers. As you can see, I'm currently a member of the Techno community because this is my official membership Discord that is now linked with my YouTube channel. If we scroll up, we see people that I'm subscribed to on Twitch and one of them I'm not in their Discord server. This is what people will see if they become a member on your YouTube and they aren't already part of your Discord server. They can simply click join and they'll be invited to join that Discord server of choice as such. So with all of that aside, eventually when people do start linking their accounts, they'll start getting the role and appearing on the side. And that's about it for this video. I would assume that from here, I can simply head across to user settings and go ahead and connect my other YouTube account as I've already linked troubleshoot to my Discord server. You can see that under server settings, integrations, my YouTube account is still here. And if we have a look at my user profile itself, we'll see that at the very bottom, we have these two channels here, Troubleshoot, which is the one with members, and Technobo, the one without. So anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching this video. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.